right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun Moon Iron as well rising weekly general tarot reading uh, January 20th to 26th, 2020. And as you have guys asked for a general tarot reading, it doesn't get any general than that because this time around I'm going to do a bit of an experiment. I'm going to read in string, meaning seven cards, no specific positions. It is as general as it can be, all right? So hopefully you like it. It is just an experiment. Uh, bear in mind and uh, just let me know how you feel about it. How do you find it down into the comments down below? And in case you are interested into a personal reading with me, um, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website. I'm not going to try to try to pronounce it because I sound preposterous trying to do so. And with all that being said, let's move uh, to the reading itself. So first one here, which is going to be uh, the very first card. All right. Uh, I'm, oh my God, I'm so accustomed to read with spread. So yeah, the very first card here it is the Ace of Pentacles. So Ace of Pentacles points that this week thing, things for you, Virgo, are going to climb uphill okay uh very slowly though because ace of pentacles it is not exactly known for its speed but the first impression when i saw um the card here what made what what made my first impression is the garden and the garden in this card or in tarot in general it's a symbol of protection so that to me or or if you see your path your road goes through a garden so to me that speaks that your path for now at least but throughout the week is protected and it's not like you can do whatever you like well you can but only in the existing framework of your path so do not strain from your path now why you would may ask it is because the ace of pentacles just on its own it's a card pointing to that is important here, a rare, and I mean a rare opportunity, you may expect that that is going to be once in a lifetime chance to further your goal, to get the job you want, to get the person you want, to establish a, a, a very harmonious relationship, to establish a, a very good business success, and etc, etc. And that is given to you according to this card, fought throughout this week, and you do not want to miss it. So be rather meticulous even if you have to move slow it is because you never know where that chance is going to come from or which from whom from excuse me this chance is going to come from it may come from the person that you are neglecting up until this moment and i i have to stress this one enough pay attention to everything around you now, the second one here is going to be the uh, Knights of Swords. And as we said about people uh, or about person, that is a person here, Knights of Swords. So these are quite tenacious people. They are very um, upfront, if you will, uh, that way. They have a, a very expressed intellectual agility. What I mean is they're very smart almost clever i would say well they are kind of like uh, overpowered by the queen and the, especially the king in a term of cleverness but they are clever to a certain extent so what is the knight of swords really well they chase a certain they they have a fulcrum and nothing else matter all right so their fulcrum may be your fulcrum as well and uh, the thing is that they make a very swift and very well found decision as a matter of fact it is because whatever they decide in favor of it is also consulted with their emotions so they never do things that they feel that it's it's kind of like it will be uh just i would say it that way just for the heck of it all right they are also emotionally attached to a certain extent with the things or with the people that they're dealing with at that point. Negative traits, they don't want to touch anything else, all right? They are constantly making excuses that they don't come around, that they can't come around into a date, for example, or into a meeting as well. So this is how you're going to see if that, what that person is related to in your life. Whatever they are making excuses about, well, they're not related to that. It could be that they're making an excuses to come around and date with you. Well, then that means that they are related to your career instead of love life or vice versa. Okay. So next one, uh, it is the King of Pentacles. So we do have another person. 
And uh, I do believe that this is the one that Ace of Pentacles is related to. It is because the King of Pentacles are very self-absorbed individuals. And under self-absorbed, I mean that they're quite proud of the what, where and how they have structured their life. And now, at that certain stage of their life, they feel that they have to share that with someone, but only if that someone shares something with them as well. That being said, King of Pentacles, they're very generous. Okay, but you should not mistake their generosity for charity. They never do anything if there is not something in return for them. You know, that something may be nothing for you, but it is a lot for them. And just to give you an example of it, um, they may they may have the necessity to love someone as long as, long as this someone adds kind of like making sex with them. You know, you may not love them. This is just for example, or it's kind of like play a role of a housewife or it's playing a role of a companion and etc. etc. It is just you you have to give something in return but it doesn't have to be reciprocal okay but there is definitely in this interaction with the ace of pentacles there is definitely has to be something for them in it as well and they're pretty uh upfront with it or upfront with it i mean they're going to tell you what they're expecting they will want to tell you they will tell you what they want and from there you will decide is this your rare opportunity or it or it isn't but i do believe it is because whatever what king of pentacles can t can give you no one else can i mean even the emperor can cannot give you that it is because emperor always give with a bad thoughts about it almost nefarious thoughts about it while this one is generous and it's kind of like has pure intentions as well and above everything else king of pentacles they always strive for um i would say reliability and also stability was the word that i was searching for so uh, that person will do whatever they can in order to stabilize the interaction the relationship the the the, the project or the endeavor that you both are sharing here now uh next one uh for you virgo is going to be uh the star card and oh my god it's just uh, the Whatever that opportunity is for you guys, uh, it's uh, simply going to lead you to the peak of your experience. So definitely that card says says two things to us. First of all, the um, I was right here to predict that you are going to be protected. As a matter of fact, the star card points that the era era of a turmoil for you, it has, it has now ended. And from now on, you can see or rather like you can hope that the path for you towards your goal or towards your dream, if you, if you will, is going to be clear. But also the card is a confirmation, the star, excuse me, is a confirmation that things are going to develop slow because the star points that you are now to develop from now on to develop into the new clear environment for you. So it's like a... Uh, well, I would say it that way. Now it's time for you to dream big, to plan big, and to hope for a big things on a more pro um, not productive, but uh, oh my god, what was I about to say? Um, in a more practical level, the star card could signify unconditional support, high ideals, unfolding love as well. And uh, uh, how can I say it? In an example that you are going to give or take for a real success in one's life. So obviously a, a very, very important and very positive card that will going to make your week very, very happy seeing that, you know, the, well, simply to me at least, it says that the worst is now over and from now on, you can only expect good things to happen, at least according to this opportunity that you're going to have. Now, the fifth one uh, that we do have here uh, is going to be the Seven of Cups. And Seven of Cups, to, uh, in this narrative and in this follow-up, it is just a confirmation of the star card pointing that things that you have thought never going to be achieved are now very, very possible. And even if you are a bit disappointed of the way you got to get there, uh, don't you worry. There is more than one way here, uh, at least with the Seven of Cups. As you can see, that person can choose from many cups in which and what 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 each cup holds it is kind of unknown for now so don't be biased about how you're gonna get there there is definitely more than just one way to do it and additionally to that why you have to dream big big it is because the seven of cups it is i already say said that into leo's reading but i'm gonna say it here as well seven of cups is like the mother's hope of one's children all right it is like are they fantasies or is growing well yet yeah, remains to be knowing and for you it does look 
like it is a seeds growing that is confirmed by the star card that um, kind of comes before the seven of uh, the seven of cups so it's highly unlikely that you're gonna feel uh, kind of smothered when you think about your dreams uh, because now you're gonna see with this opportunity coming around that they can definitely be uh, achieved now sixth one here is going to be the hermit and oh my god they, this gets better and better for you Virgo I don't know uh, if you have won the lottery recently but uh, it's just uh, it's just preposterous how good it gets uh, that is because the hermit points that uh, it looks like um, well not it looks like but it will be that way that uh, you are going to attend to this new form path for your or salvation if you look at this really look like a salvation here uh, with with a huge portion of wisdom and intelligence as well allowing you to focus or to focus this beam of hope into the most substantial areas into your life either career wise or either relationship wise or maybe both as well there are no limits literally of where you can focus that beam of hope and beam of productivity as well what that is going to do it is to grow the substantial the, the substantial endeavors or an enterprises how do i say it? well things that are substantial for you into your life and that as well will help you to take the direct the direction you want to take not just that you have to but that you want to take which excludes as well the ideas of others and the ideas of the world so it's going to be something special as well this is what the higher uh, the, the hermit says that is going to be something special nobody supported you to it up until now well guess what you have waited long enough you have suffered long enough you went through a lot and now this person king of pentacles comes around and gives you what you need to make it substantial to make it happen all right so again i do believe that the king of pentacles it is the one that gives you the rare opportunity here guys to further not just your goal but now we can classify it as your dream and the last one it will be uh my friends virgo the king of swords so that is another one that helps you as we said um intelligence and wisdom this is where that thing is boosted from now the king of swords is someone who is very uh smart in general and they are people with uh, how can i say it with very clear um clearly pronounced analytical mind i don't know how to say it really it is because what happens it is that with the king of swords who appears as an, an advisor to you or a counselor or a mentor for example you are going to make a careful analysis how to proceed from now on and through that careful analysis all the um fantasies let's say or a celluloid um expectations or a celluloid um plans that you do have are gonna drop off because uh whatever decisions you make uh, under the guidance of the king of swords or whatever actions you decide to make are going to be very very effective as a matter of fact with this analysis that you're going to have with the king of swords uh, the way out from the difficulties whatever you anticipate that you're going to have is going to be revealed so they're not they are not going to be difficulties at all it's because you're going to know how to solve them so knowing how to solve any something it's not a puzzling at all knowing how to overcome difficulty makes it no difficult uh, no difficulty at all is it so a very hopeful week for you virgo i, I hope you enjoyed the reading guys once again this is how i say seldom do readings it is because i believe that they have to be read in spread it is just how it works but maybe i'm wrong who knows so let me know in the into the comments down below once again if you are interested into a personal reading with me uh you can check out uh, the description down below there you're gonna find a link to my website and as well hopefully we're gonna see each other around now until then bye